Hi, it's Doug Coy, so what do you think .com? Well, the clock is ticking, or steaming, as the case may be. We have less than two weeks before the zombie apocalypse. I do have my zombie um, escape plan worked out, yeah. I've had that ready for a while, just in oh. case. Gastown, as we know it, perhaps could be no more. So it's Doug Coy, and uh, we're on our zombie alert here. Uh, this is a well-known store in the Vancouver area. It's called John Fluvog Shoes. Uh, John is a well-known businessman, very unusual guy. Some people are wondering if he is not a zombie himself. Let's, let's get right to the point here, John. Some people have accused you of actually being a zombie yourself. Now, that's not true, right? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that. But I'm not a zombie, so I could be a zombie. So you're not dispelling the rumor? You're just... No, I wouldn't want to dispel that. It's quite possibly true. Yeah. So what do you think would be the best advice for young people today um, in regards to protecting themselves from zombies? What would be one of the couple of the best things? Well, number one would be to get educated. Yeah, absolutely. Really. Yeah. Um, you know what you with. have to have your plan. I'm somewhat unprepared myself, so I'll just be sticking with those who know what they're doing. I think you should always be aware of your surroundings. You always, like if you're in a busy location like this, you don't know when it's going to happen. Oh, so yeah. you need to know, you know, what's around you, what building you should be heading for, potential weapons maybe you could have on hand. Yeah. It's good to be prepared, absolutely. Bomb yeah. shelter maybe? Yeah, you I don't want, know. Like a high building that has, you know, uh, locks on the doors that you could, you know, hide up yeah, above. Yeah, yeah. And, and a safe area in your home, like, you know, like a safe room with you could really lock up and, yeah. and have it stored with, with enough food. Zombie panic room, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. That is a really good idea. These guys behind us are not zombies. Well, they, they're my friends. Have you prepared as a businessman in, in Gastown if uh, zombies were to appear in the street here trying to get into your store. I'm not particularly worried about zombies. And I, um, my preparation has, you know, has always been to be their friends. And so I am, you know, as you can see, I got my friends behind me. And um, I am um, looking forward to zombies and zombie days and have the zombies come. I mean, why not? It's been said that zombies have bought some of your more unusual screws that they are attracted to, say the boots and like that. Are you aware that you've been selling to zombies? Well, it's hard to tell them. So, have you ever met a zombie? I've met people claiming to be zombies, but I don't think zombies can talk, so I was skeptical. Probably dated a few, I mean. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> you know, because they, guys, quite often guy zombies don't talk a whole lot. and guys don't yeah. talk so it's hard to tell whether they're actually zombies or not right yeah, yeah. yeah. especially in the morning mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah before the coffee what we see here is tourists happily walking the streets we may actually be seeing zombies walking the streets the zombie apocalypse it's coming and it's coming in two weeks to gas town so when the apocalypse starts, I mean, this is supposed to happen in a few weeks, what suggestions do you have to people and business owners here? So let's talk from the business standpoint, of course, mm -hmm. how to protect themselves, how to make their stores safe from, uh, from the, the, the zombie. Well, being a businessman, I'd say the best thing to do is walk them in and uh, give them good customer service. Are you giving 10% off to zombies? I'm not. Uh, I don't believe in discounts. I think, if anything, I might add a few bucks on because zombies don't quite always get it. You don't seem overly afraid of this, John. I, I, you know, I, 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 having a zombie as a friend does not seem to me to be a good move. Yeah. It's a great opportunity to um, you know, expand your horizons a little bit. It's a great opportunity for us to become more multicultural. And um, I know we don't always understand other people from the other side of the country, for instance, or their behaviors. And zombies are much the same way. I think, it's, I think we need to embrace um, the weirdness, um, embrace what we consider weird, so they, we can begin to understand them and, um, you know, meld a bit. 
There is a world, you know, th there is a, a feeling that the world is shrinking um, and that nations and peoples are, you know, coming together. And uh, so there's no reason why we can't include zombies. We're talking about this whole uh, zombie apocalypse thing that's going on right now. And of course, Gastown, they say, is the area where most of the zombies in Canada live. And uh, they have kind of a, kind of a, excuse me, there's a lot of commotion going on in the background. Excuse me, sir, sir. Uh, can I get an interview with you? I, I just, we were talking about the zombie apocalypse. Apo uh, we're talking about the zombie uh, apocalyptic uh, thing uh, that's going on right now. Uh, are you a friend of John Fluvog's? Yeah, John Fluvog. Are you a friend of John's? Uh, do you believe in zombies, sir? Do you believe that they're... If, if, you're, if, you're, trying to, if you're trying to... If you're trying to talk to people about zombies and the reality of zombies, I don't... Pardon me, sir. Are you okay? Are you drunk? Are you okay? Yeah, you're all right. Okay. Uh, uh, just, just try to calm down. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're trying to get an interview here talking about zombies. Uh, do you believe in them? Do you believe that they actually exist? Okay. All right. I can't get anything out of this guy. Go back to doing what you're doing. I have no concept what this guy's all about. Yeah, thanks a lot. Have a, have a good day. Have a good day. Well, you see the weirdest people down here. Anyway, so we're talking about zombies and the apocalypse and all that, all that, all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's what we're dealing with. And so here's what I ask you. Zombies. Zombies. Do you act... Ouch! Zombies. Do you actually think that zombies exist? Sure. What? What do you think?